my name is Giovanna Prince and today we're going to talk about the problem set zero of CS50 introduction to databases with SQL. The exercise will be a cyber chase. Our goal will be to do some tasks that CS50 is expecting us to do and we're going to be manipulating the database using the query notes we have for this lecture. All right, so for this exercise we're going to use this cyberspace educational kids television series. We're gonna work with their database where we're gonna know the episodes and some details of the episodes, okay. And here you can download the distribution code. So you click in here, you can follow those steps and you're gonna download everything you need to start the code, all right? Instead of reading here the specification and all the information, I'm gonna show you in our code what is going on. So I already changed here the terminal. If you, once you download your folder, you can right click here in Cyberchase Click in Open an Integrator Terminal and it will open up the terminal for you. Once you open up the terminal, we need to initialize our SQL terminal. And to do that, we're going to write SQLite3 and the name of the database. The name of our database is cyberchase.db. So this way we have our SQLite terminal running and here is where we're going to write the commands in SQL to check if our answers are right or wrong. As you can see here, the folder Cyberchase has 13 SQL files. So in each file, we're going to write the commands to solve each of those questions here. And we're going to open up the cyberchase.db. It's going to appear this message here. You can click in open anyway, PHP Lite admin. And this way we're going to see the actual content of our database. As we can see in here, our database contains one table that it's called episodes. And here in episodes, we have seven columns. So we have the ID. As we remember from the lecture, ID, we have to have in all tables we have because it's a unique value. It's a column that will store unique values so we can easily search what is the correct, uh, the content of each line. So for the first line, we have ID one, the second line ID two and so on. We have the column season that we will start the season of this TV series that we're going to work. The episode in season, so if it's the first episode, the second one and so on. We have the title, that is the name of the episode, the topic of the episode, the air date, that is when people were able to watch this episode on, on the TV, and the production code, that will be a code that probably the TV series were, was using to know which episode uh, means what. So it's a code that the TV series created, all right? And our goal will be solving one of each of those tasks line by line. All right. If you're not able to open up this PHP Lite.admin, you can see the structure of your table right in the dot schema. And here in dot schema, it will display for us the name of the table that we have. So we have this table episodes and we have all the columns with the type of each column. So integer, integer, text, numeric, text, and most importantly, what is the primary key? All right. But I won't use it. If you want to clear your terminal, you can do Ctrl L and it will clear the terminal for you. So let's see the first the first exercise and then I think it will make more sense. All right. So here it's saying write a SQL query to list the title of all episodes in Cyberchase original season in season one. Before we see exactly this season one in here, let's play around a little bit with our terminal. If we want to display the whole content, so everything we are seeing here, in our SQL terminal, we can run the following. Select a star, a star means every columns we have in our table, from and the name of our table that it's episodes. And don't forget the, the semicolon. Once we click enter, we're gonna see this table here. Let me see if I can shrink a little bit more. This table here that contains all the information about ID, season, let me zoom in, zoom out a little bit so it's a little bit better. So all the content we're seeing here, we can see in the PHP light admin. All right, so these are the commands we're gonna play around a little bit to solve this question. In the first exercise, then they're asking us to, to query the list of the all titles of all episodes from season one. So we're gonna play around a little bit with the following. We want to display all the titles of all of those movies, all of those episodes that has episode equals to one. Do you see here the part that I'm highlighting? So we want to get all that has season one here in the column. How can we do that? So the part of the select will be pretty similar. So I want to select the column of the name of the titles. So here it's the column title from the name of our table is episodes 
and the condition. We want to see all the titles from season one. So every time we want to set a condition, we're going to use the word where. And here, where, what is our condition? Where season is equal to one. So season is equal to one. To check if this query is correct, I'm going to paste here in our terminal and we're going to see here all the titles of the, the episodes that, that are from season one. So we're starting from Lost My Marbles to Out of Sync. If we double check in here, it starts from Lost My Marbles until Out of Sync. Okay, so we got the first task. Now let's go to the second one. List the season number of and title of the first episode of every season. So now we want to get the first episode of every season. We have a column that is called episode in season. So episode in season one will be the first episode of season one. Then episode in season one for season two is the first episode for the second season. So we're going to work with this table and our condition will be where episode in season column is equal to one. So let's write it down. So I want to select, let's see what we need to select. The title so season number and the title of the first episode. So season number, as we can see here, is the column season. Title of the, the episode is the column title from episodes. And our condition is where our column episode in season is equals to one. So episode in season is equals to one. So let's see if we're able to get only the first episodes. So if we take a look in here, we have one episode for each season and they have their title. So this is exactly what they are expecting. Now let's go to the next one. Find the production code for the episode Hackerize It. So in this case, we want to find the production code for this episode with this name in here, this weird name. So how can we do that? We can search in title. We're going to select the production code where the title is equal to the name of the title we just saw, okay? We can do this hard coding, we can search here every line we have in our table, or we can use SQL commands. So I want to select the production code. So select, the name of our table is production code, production code, where, oh, sorry, production code from episodes, where title is equals, and since we want to search exactly for the word Hackerize it, we need to put it under quotation mark. So here I'm going to put the name of the episode. Okay? And then, and remember, it has to be, it is case insensitive. So the name of the title here has to be exactly how it is in our database. Okay? So when I run in here our command, we're going to find the production code of this episode. And to show you that we are right, if I run the command with the title, we will see Hackerize it has this production code, okay? For the solution, we don't need to display the title, so I will remove here in our file. All right, now let's go to the next one. It's pretty nice, right? I really like to work with SQL because I think it's fun. And it's one part of programming where we can play around and we can visualize things. Sometimes programming can be a little bit too abstract. And when we can see what we are actually coding, I think, Everything starts to make sense, right? Let's see the fourth uh, task. Write a query to find the title of episodes that do not yet have a listed topic. So this part is a little bit more tricky. How can we know that a episode doesn't have a topic? So here, as we can see in our table, all of those episodes have a topic, right? So they have a number, a name, sorry. If we search in the other pages, we're going to see that all of those have names for the topic, but if you go to the last page of our table, you will see that we have some episodes where topic is no, and no is the same as nothing in programming, so we don't have any information about the topic. So our goal will be finding the name of the titles where topic is no, okay? They mentioned this in the lecture and we're going to use this in here. So let's go to this part. So I want to select what is the name? We want to select the title of the episodes. The title of the episodes is the column title. So I want to select title from episodes, episodes where our topic is no. So this is exactly what we're going to write, where topic is no. And no is a word that is understood by SQL because no, as I mentioned in programming, means nothing. So once I do this part, let me clear here and show you. We're going to see all the movies that has no topic. Let me expand a little bit. And how can we check if we are right? 
We can try to find here these trees, please. That is the last movie we, that has no topic. And if you take a look here, we also have this title in here. So we are, we are in the right track. Okay, let's go to the fifth task. Find the title of the holiday episode that aired on December 30, 31st, 2004. Here, now we're gonna take a look at the column air date. And as you can see in here, we don't have the date specifically formatted as December 31, 2004. We actually have in this format here where we have the year dash day dash, sorry, year dash month dash day. So we need to find the date exactly with this format here. All right, so let's just start from the very beginning. We wanna select the title of the episode. So let me zoom in a little bit. We're gonna select title from episodes and our condition is where our column air date air date is equals and we're gonna pass a string so we need to format december 31 2004 into this format here so it will be 2004 december it's 12 and 31 that is the date okay and if i clear here and if we paste we're gonna have the title starlight night to double check i will show you here putting the columns air date and you will see that we're gonna get the same title at December 31, 2004. Okay, so you don't need this last, this column that I just added. I just wanted to show you that it's working. Now let's go to the next task. List the title of episodes from season six that were released early in 2007. So here we have, we wanna select the title and we have two conditions. So season six and they were released in 2007. The season we can get from here, this column, and the air date is 2007. All right, we can add two conditions if we wanted to. So here, select. What do we want to select? I want to select the title of the movies, the episodes, sorry, from episodes. And here we're going to write two conditions. The first one is that season must be equal to six. So here I'm going to say season equals to six. And we can use the word and because SQL is pretty similar to English. Actually, it's English, right? And the air date is early in 2007. To mention early in 2007, we can say that it's early 1st of January of 2008. So episodes that were before that, we can accept. So air date less than 2011, sorry, 2008. 0101 so 1st of January of 2008 and this way if we run we're gonna get those two uh, episodes from season 6 that were released before 2008 and how can we double check I will write here season and air date and you will see what I am saying so here season 6 and they were released before 2008 okay as I mentioned again the nice thing about SQL is because we can see if our answers are right or wrong so now for the next one, we're going to write a SQL query to list the titles and topics of all episodes teaching fractions. So we want to display the title and the topic, sorry, the title and the topic of all episodes teaching fractions. How can we know that? If we go back to the first page that displays in the database, we can see that topic here has some words. So we have here fractions. If you see here, there will be another fraction, but here equivalent fractions. So we need to find all the topics that contain the word fractions. To do that, we're gonna use the like keyword. This like keyword combined with this operator of the percentage, it will match any characters around a given string. So we're gonna search for the word fraction. The word fraction can be alone, but the word fraction can have something before like equivalent or something after that we don't know, but this can happen. So to do that, we're gonna use our condition. We'll use this like here, all right? So we wanna select the title and topic. So title and topic from episodes where topic like, and we're gonna pass a string with the percentage saying fractions, all right? Let's see if is fractions in the plural, great. So if we try it out in here, 
we're gonna get the top the title and the topic that can contain fraction at the beginning at the end or only the word fraction so that's nice about the percentage if we didn't use the like with the percentage so let's see so i can show you the difference if we didn't use the percentage we would only get the string exactly as fraction. We wouldn't find when we have fraction in the middle of the sentence. So that's why we're using the percentage as I showed you here, okay? So this is the right answer, all right? Now let's go to the next one. So write a query that counts the number of episodes released in the last five years, from 2018 to 2023. So before we work with the count, let's first select all the titles of the episodes from 2018 to 2023. And here the goal will be pretty similar to what we did for the sixth task. We're gonna use the from, so between 2018 January 1st to 2023 December 31. All right, so we need to get this range of all the months and all the days of that particular year. All right, so here we wanna select and let's see what we're gonna select. We're gonna select here, I'm gonna put the title and later on we work with the count. From episodes where air date, remember that air date is the column that we have the date of the release. And we're gonna say that air date was between the time we won't. Here they give an example, but we're gonna change from 2018 to 2023. So here between 2018, January 1st, to 2023 uh, December 31 all right so if we put this way this is not the answer already okay if we put this way we're gonna see a list of all the episodes that were uh, released in this last five years to count we have a function that is exactly the word count and we put the column we want to count in parentheses the count function will count how many lines we have in the table for that particular condition we're searching if we were using the function sum, we would sum the values of each column. So the count will count and the sum will sum the values. I know it seems almost the same, but in the future we will see that sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. So now if we run the right query, we're gonna get the number 31. That is exactly what we want, all right? The next one, we're gonna write a query that counts the number of episodes released in the first five years, so from 2002 to 2007. So the query will be exactly the same, but we're gonna change the date. So from 2002, right? 2002 to 2007. So 2002 to 2007. And if we run in here, it will tell us that we're 74 episodes in this uh, at that time, okay? Now the next exercise, we're gonna write a SQL query to list the IDs, titles, and production code of all episodes. And then we're gonna order the results by production code from earliest to latest. Before we work with the order, let's start creating here the part of IDs, titles, and production code, okay? So we wanna select ID, we have this column, title, we have this column, and production code as well. So ID, title, and production code from episodes where actually there's no where right our condition here wanna it wants us to display all of them so let's display all of them without the where and we're gonna do what they're expecting us to do in a bit so here if we display we are displaying the id the title and the production code but we want to order them because if you see they are not exactly in the correct order as we can see in here this last three are not in the correct order of production code so if we go to the top here at the notes and we go to order by, we have this order by keyword that allow us to organize the rows in a specific order. So we're gonna say order by and we say the name of the column we wanna order. So in our case, we wanna order by production code, right? And then it is saying from earliest to latest. So we're gonna use the ascending order. If we wanted to do from latest to earliest, we would do the descending order, okay? So here, to complement, we're gonna say order by, and we wanna order by the production code. You can say ASC for ascending, but by default, SQL understand that we're doing an ascending order. And if we see now, they are in the this three rows here that before weren't organized, now they are sorted as we were expecting, okay? Now let's go to the next one. So. 
list the title of episodes from season 5 in reverse alphabetical order. So we want the title of the episodes from season 5. So let's start from here. Select title from episodes where season equals to 5. So if I display in here, we're gonna see all the titles, but they are not organized in alphabetical order. Now let's organize in alphabetical order. So we're gonna use the order by, order by title, right? And yet this won't be our answer, but you will see that it's alphabetical order. So it's starting from A and it will stop at, at Z. But here they want in reverse order. So if we want in the reverse order, we need to say that we want in descending order. So D, E, S, C, will give us this trick of doing in reverse. So if I paste in here, you will see. Now what it was in the at the end, now is at the first and the same here. So they swap places. Okay, so this is the right answer. We're almost there, stay with me. We're gonna count the number of unique episode titles. So we know how to count, now how can we get the unique episodes? To do that, if we search in here, we have a word called distinct. So let me find in here to show you. Distinct. The word distinct will ensure that we don't have duplicates. So if we see the first appearance, then we won't see the second appearance. So this way we're gonna count. So as they are saying here, we can use this to ensure that only distinct values are counted. So this is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the word distinct in the select while we're counting. So we want to count the number of unique episode titles. So here I want to select count. Before using the distinct, let's see the differences. I want to count the titles from episodes, right? If I'm not mistaken, this is the thing. If I run this way, we're going to see that we have 140 episodes, but we only want the distinct episodes. So we're going to write here the word distinct and distinct is a word Nate Natural from SQL, the SQL understands. And when we run it again, we have four episodes that are duplicates. So we have 136 episodes that are distinct. All right. And the last one is open ended. We can do any query we want. Let's suppose I want to write a SQL query exploring, I don't know, the, the episodes that have topic navigation. I don't know. Let's see. So I want to select all from topics that has a word navigation. So I want to do select a star when we want to select all the content of the all, every column from episodes where topic like, remember the like, because I don't know if navigation appears in the middle, in the beginning, at the end or alone. And I'm going to use the percentage navigation. All right. If I run this in here, we will see. Let me clear first. Let me clear again. Oops. So let me paste in here. We will see that there's only one, one episode with topic navigation. Okay. But you can play around here is open ended. Now to complete, we're gonna, I'm gonna get out of the SQL terminal. So you can do dot quit or you can do control C. What is up to you here? They ask us to do dot quit and I will run check 50 to see if we pass in our tests. If so, then we're done with our code. So this is it, we got all green. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. If you wanna learn more about programming, check the description below and see how powerful programming can be in your life. All right, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.